We heat up my sample and it starts to boil. The water at the surface boils off. It evaporates. But look what's left behind. Salt. The salt's dissolved in the water. The underground water is in fact a salt solution or brine, totally undrinkable. But how did all the salt get here in the first place? We set off to find some evidence. Okay, Phil, where are we now? We're about 300 metres above the, the Bonneville Salt Flats. 300 metres? Yes, we're actually we're walking on a shoreline. A shoreline up here? Yes, this is the shoreline of the ancient Lake Bonneville. You mean all of this used to be underwater? Absolutely. There was uh, over 300 metres of water in this valley. Gosh. It was a lake that was 51,000 square kilometres in size. It must have been very salty. Well, no, in fact, it was just a weak solution. It had just a little small amount of salt dissolved in it. Right. It was just about fresh water. Right, okay. The lake evaporated over a period of 3,000 years and left the salt behind. Just like in our beaker. Exactly. Right. The underground brine is a much stronger solution than the ancient lake. About this much salt dissolved in every litre of water. But however strong the solution, when the salt dissolves, the water becomes clear. And if the water evaporates, the salt always gets left behind. What if all the water from the sea evaporated? How much salt would be left? There would be 120 meters of salt left behind over the entire world. 